Welcome to Davis Sports Report, where we are continuing our coverage of the Paris Olympics. Please go ahead and hit that like button and turn on notifications so that you know when we drop new content. There was a lot of anticipation to see the 16-year-old Quincy Wilson compete, and the long wait is over. Yes, Wilson competed in the qualifying round for the United States on the first leg of the 4x400 men's relay. That's a tough leg to take, but my assumption is they put him on the first leg due to his lack of experience in relays on the big stage. Putting him at first leg, he would only have to worry about handoff, not receiving and handoff. And if you know anything about the history of the U.S. relay teams and handoffs, well, if you know, you know. Considering that Quincy was reported as being injured, he did a great job for the United States. He recorded a time of three seconds behind the average time, and we feel confident that there must have been an injury because Quincy just clocked a time of 44.20 just a few weeks ago at the Hollowell Classics in Gainesville, Florida. Today, Quincy had a leg time of 47.27. Next up on leg two was Vernon Norwood, and boy was his efforts heroic as he put the U.S. team back in contention with a leg time of 43.54. Norwood had the best recorded time for the U.S. team and second overall, coming in only behind Muzala Sumbukanga from Zambia, who won bronze in the men's 400 meter behind Quincy Hall and Matthew Hudson-Smith earlier this week. On leg three was veteran Bryce Dedman also chipping away at the deficit with a leg time of 44.20. And on the fourth and last leg was Christopher Bailey, who put the United States squarely in third with a leg time of 44.14, giving the United States a total time of 2 minutes, 59 seconds, and 15 milliseconds. We want to give a congratulations to this team for conquering a spot for the finals where we will likely be looking at a slightly different team. And huge congratulations to 16-year-old phenom Quincy Wilson for participating with balance and poise despite his injury. This is an amazing experience and exposure for the up and coming sprinter, making him the youngest to represent the United States in track and field. And if the final roster wins gold, so will Quincy. Great job helping the US get it done. My expectation is that we haven't seen the last of Botswana's Lazile Tobago and Zambia's Muzala Simokanga. In the finals, the Americans will need to look out for Botswana, Zambia, and Great Britain, as I'm going to assume they will have Matthew Hudson Smith competing for them. Best of luck on the finals, which will be August 10th, and we will be right back here to cover it for you. As always, thank you for joining us. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We will see you soon. Have a good one.